Et salut à tous les potes, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour l'épisode 7 de Red Dead Redemption 1. J'espère que les épisodes précédents vous ont plu. Je vais pas pu regarder parce que c'est vraiment que j'enchaîne. Je suis à la troisième vidéo de la filée. Donc euh, voilà, comme ça moi je reste dans le bain. Je vais fermer le sable carré. Je vais faire un différent montage en une vidéo. C'est plutôt pas mal. Donc voilà, j'ai pas pu voir vos ressentis sur la dernière vidéo. J'espère que vous aurez plu en tout cas. Et on est reparti. On va partir. Euh... Let's go Retournez voir la blonde, la femme là. Il doit y avoir un truc dans les options, parce que je regarde parce que c'est bizarre que je puisse pas le verrouiller ou alors c'est plus tard dans le jeu. C'est quand même étrange. Ah putain je suis con, j'aurais pu faire ça à chaque fois. This is a mess. Ah putain, je me rappelle pas que ça mette autant de temps pour en dépecer. Hein. Voilà, C'est pas très joli. Hein. Je suis curieux de voir comment ça va se passer d'ailleurs dans le 2. Comment Let's get this over. Ah, les bruits sont chelous. dans le jeu ça permet de la revendre se refaire de l'argent pour acheter des nouvelles armes et tout des munitions c'est bon, moins présent que dans GTA des munitions et tout il attention Ah bah c'est pas, pas fun hein. Excuse me Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking but so far they found nothing. Well come on, let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Easy now. Ça va être beaucoup de ramener ce sont Go! Allez. Quick 
back if you can. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers. Died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. That's all. Maybe they're baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Yeah! Idiot! What could have happened to those poor... It's uh, a bad idea to split up right now. We need to walk. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself! I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better! How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting! You never met the men I killed! I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize- The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic! The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal, there's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Come on! Terroriser des citoyens. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. There ain't enough of us. This ain't working. We gotta get to the horse. We can't get through the Help doors. Me, it's too dangerous. Get a move. Oh, Let's go, Mr. Marston, please. Come on. See Let's if you can get us through the law.
What the fuck? know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Ah ouais, 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 il me charge le con, putain, j'ai bien fait! Ah, punaise! Plus ce jeu. Ah, on va les sauvegarder quand même parce que depuis euh, j'ai commencé le la... cinquième épisode, j'ai pas encore sauvegardé. Donc, euh, ça fera pas de mal. Allez. Hop. Marshall, euh, la diligence ici ou pas Ça c'est quoi Arrêt de diligence. On va prendre l'arrêt de diligence. On va y aller directement. Parce que là il y a du chemin vers le trop. I'm 
gonna cut you a new hole. Oh, you think I'm a joke? Go on then! Oh, is it you stuff? I suppose not all men are bad. I won't forget what you did here. I couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. Sorry about this, partner. La pendaison de Bonnie. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger. And their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. Oh, and I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman D. Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, 
They'd best not have laid a finger on Mr. McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. And now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea what. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Stop burning so hard, you son of a bitch! Be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town and make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a four to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She Come on, man, so good. Why don't you save some of that breath from breathing? Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Wait. Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well... You thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Boy,
She ain't involved in there! Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Bon bah voilà les potes, ça sera tout pour l'épisode 7, j'espère qu'ils vous auront plu, parce qu'on est dessus, n'oubliez pas de lâcher un petit pouce bleu, de pouvoir pas partager la vidéo, de lâcher un petit commentaire pour dire ce que vous en avez pensé, et je vous dis à très vite, ciao